Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Devotional this morning. I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the Daily Devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is March 17th, 2022, Thursday. The theme of today's devotional is Aroma of Christ. The scripture is from 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 14 through 17. But thanks be to God, who in Christ always leads us in triumphal procession, and through us spreads in every place the fragrance fragrance that comes from knowing him. For we are the aroma of Christ to God among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. To the one of fragrance from death to death, no, uh, to the other of fragrance from ripe to life, who is sufficient for these things. For we are not peddlers of God's word like so many, but in Christ we speak as persons of sincerity, sincerity, as persons sent from God and sending in His presence. Amen. Today's story is from um, Hasako, who lives in Japan. On my way to church one Sunday morning, I noticed a pleasant scent. I looked up and saw olive flowers in bloom. Each of the small flowers was giving off a gentle aroma. The scent lifted my spirit, spirit and I thanked God for the wonders of creation. The fragrance reminded me of the passing from two Corinthians above. I had met some people who spread the aroma of Christ and had felt the, the presence of God in their ministries. I always hope to be like them, but I am uncertain about my ability to do so. However, I felt the Lord reassure me through these those olive flowers that I should not compare myself to others. Olive blossoms are smaller in size than roses, and their blooming season is different from other flowers. But in the season and the manner that God designed for them, they spread an aroma that tells us of God's wonderful creation. Further, I need not rely solely on my own abilities, for it is God who created me, like the olive flowers that bloom and spread their aroma naturally. God will enable me to spread an aroma of faith. Amen. It is easy to compare ourselves to others. The world, the air and trend of the world is like that. Because the world make a line and people get into line and said you're the first place you're the second place like this for our lives we are used to stand on the line however in God's ministry and in our lives our faith journey God does not let us line up because everyone is first place take the first position before God God loves all of us and God gives us the chance, chances to help and work uh, with God all the time. Maybe the season, season of our work, our uh, fruits of our ministry would be different. But still, everything, you, everything that we do and we make for God's glory and God's ministry is important and wonderful. God is the one who loves us. 
and God is the one who gives us chances to work with God because God calls us to work with God all the time. Church family and friends, rather than compare ourselves to others, let us just say yes whenever God calls us, whatever it is small or whatever, I mean, it is small or big. It is, it needs too much time or just moment. Because God, when God calls you, God needs you. And when God calls you, God wants uh, to work, work with you. Church family and friends, we are precious to God. All of us, each of us are precious to God because we are God's creatures and we are God's masterpieces. There is no better or worse. God loves us equally. equally. And God wants us to have the opportunity to serve God and to work with God. And we are the people who are following God and commit ourselves to God. So let us say yes and let us do our job. The church is the body of Christ. Somebody do the roles of hand. Somebody do the roles of feet. Somebody do the roles of head. Somebody do the roles of heart. We need everyone. We need everyone's ability, skills, heart, and their, their passion for God's ministry. So please be with us and work with us and let us find God's call in our lives through the church ministry and our personal ministry. And let us follow God. That is our work and our privilege. Let us pray together. God of creation, thank you for your love. Use each of us as your vessels to fill this world with the aroma of Christ's presence. Gracious God, thank you for making us, creating us in your image. Thank you for giving us your love and grace to us in our lives. Thank you for letting us re recognize your love and grace and feel your grace and love all the time. We'd like to work with you and we'd like to work for your glory and ministry. Be with us and help us. Let us not compare ourselves to others, but using our ability, using our special uh, spiritual gift, let us work for you and let us do our job in, when you call us. Please be with us and help us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope you have a great day today and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day and thank you. Bye.